it's going to be the last one to be loaded, Jim. Do you feel that there's real confidence from Bally Doyle, or might this horse be vulnerable? I think, Claire, there's enormous confidence behind this horse. That's it, they're ready, set, racing in the Hardwick. Near side, Harris Tweed got a flyer and leads easily on settling down from in second, La Hebe, and further back in the field then, detached from them, King's Gambit now breaking away and going wider, looking for fresh ground. Further back in the field then is Poet, as they settle fully into stride. In behind them, the white cap there of Godolphin being carried by uh, Ted Durkin on Campanologist, as all the time they're running down to Swindley Bottom. So it's Harris Tweed out in front from Poet, and just behind them is King's Gambit in third. Up in fourth is La Hebe, and then on the outside await the dawn. A length further back then Campanologist, who's travelling on the inside here of Calvados Blues, and out wider is Drunken Sailor, and a length and a half last passion for gold. Running downhill all the time, and heading now towards Swindley Bottom. They've got just on seven furlongs to travel, and they're all going wide of the rail, looking for better ground. It's got churned up over the last four days, and the leader, and they're going extremely wide. It's a Harris Tweed, Richard Hughes dictating terms from in second, a poet up in third then uh, at this stage and they're once again getting away from that inside rail, look how wide Harris Tweed is going, he's going the Willie Carson route under the trees almost leads by a length and a half to in second on the inside of this stage La Hebe, then on his outside is King's Gambit, further back in the field then the white cap of Campanologist look at the ones on the left here only two of them there and uh, they're being pushed along, we can see drunken sailor and also uh, further back then the red cap of passion for gold but as they head up now towards the entrance to the home straight and out in front it's Harris Tweed by a length and a half to in second King Gambit as they cross over to the inside now La Hebe is further back then the white cap of Campanologist as they round the home turn await the dawn being pulled on for an effort now and then drunken sailor to the outside further back in the field then is uh, Calvados Blues who must be six lengths off the pace turning for home in the Hardwick and Harris Tweed kicks now goes two and a half in front battling away in second the striped cap then of La Hebe there's a wait the dawn called on for an effort now by Ryan Moore sprouting wings races to Harris Tweed quickly just over a furlong to go now and a wait the dawn on the outside grabs the lead now from Harris Tweed they're about three lengths clear then of the chasing pack but a wait the dawn is two lengths in front with a half furlong left to go punched right out by Ryan Moore this is another big winner for Ryan Moore, and it's Moore and Hughes, one, two, once again, has right to the line, await the dawn, wins well. From in second, Richard Hughes on Harris Tweed, further back behind them, La Hebe and also Drunken Sailor, that's fairly tight. Confidence by Ryan Moore, and goes to the line and wins it well, three to four lengths from Harris Tweed. Yes, a very class horse. I think he was on well on the, the reserves at the finish. The last furlong was a long, a long furlong for him, and uh, Ryan Moore had to keep tapping this horse just to keep him going, because I would imagine that this ground is very tiring. But what a fantastic race the second horse has run, uh, Harris Tweed. He, Hughes, he came out the stalls like a bullet. He went his route halfway around the race course looking for that better ground kept his horse relaxed in front there was two front runners in the race Poet was the other one but Husey didn't get into a, a, an argument with him and he kept his horse relaxed the whole race until he got into the stripe and when he asked him he, his horse being by Hernando you would think would like a bit uh, faster ground than this but he, he fought all the way to the line and ran, and ran a superb race but the class of the winner told in the end and this, this is uh, a very very good horse. I'm sure when we get better ground. Oh, there's the girl. Yeah, yeah go on, on, go on. You come on, my son. Pat yeah. on, the, on the left there to double the first. When the winner, Claire, when the winner gets on better ground, we'll, we'll, we'll then see a, a more exciting turn of foot from him. But the first two races have gone to Ryan Moore. He now goes ahead.